Alrighty, let's see. So, this is what I like to call my small radio system. What it does is it actually creates a small radio chat box We're using the wire radios right over, let's see if I can find them, here. You can have different channels, different uh, set values that you can actually send numbers to. So this will have 9 receive and 9 transmit values and start on channel 1. Of course, all these values can be changed in the wire settings, which I find really nice. Anyway, so what this does is this uses ZCPU logic, or the CPU that's built in with the wire mod, to actually uh, deal with all of the processing, which there is quite a bit. There is a keyboard driver that gets called every uh, time the main loop gets called. And there's a display uh, call loop where it actually takes the data where it gets caught asynchronously. If I look into here, by this chip right here, which is a wire high-speed write, as well as the um, radio signal itself because I send the address and clock signals at the same time. So if I turn multiple on, you can see it comes up with the same kind of screen. And I can send a message, like say, this is a test. That sends all that data right to this other one via the radio signal. And if they're on the same channel, well, they both receive it. It gets caught asynchronously and then the CPU reads it and puts it onto the console screen. I've tried to optimi optimize this as much as possible using mcopy commands, which copies a whole array of data, as well as only sending the minimum amount of data possible, meaning that it stops whenever there is no more data to be sent. Of course, there's a 30 character max limit, but that's just because I don't want to deal with figuring out whether a, um, a line has already been written to or not. And of course, this works with multiple other uh, radio systems. So if I turn all these on, I can then send another one. Of course, it saves the message from before, which I should probably set it to erase it. But since there are no other people using it, feel that it's not really a problem of people trolling, sending multiple messages. Anyway, uh, let's say pee pee poo poo. Send that through. Gets received here. Gets received here. And gets received here. Eventually I hope to set up a system that actually sends a specific code or name and timestamp um, with the message so you can tell either when it was typed or uh, what user actually typed it. Of course at the moment the only way I can do that is by setting this specific um, constant value which corresponds to the actual color being sent. Since it's sent as a serial data stream and the console screen needs both a ASCII and color data signal this will actually change the color data signal. It only gets stored into memory after it's started. So, let me show you. If I send with this one, it'll be with the default color. Oops, sorry. And you can see both on the console screen and the sent message that it's the default color. But if I set it to something, say, a little more red, so I'll do 742, which gets rid of the blue aspect a bit more. And of course, if I put it on the screen, it stays there. But if I recommit it all to memory, it's more red and gets sent that way to the other console screens. Of course, it would be best if this would be able to be randomized, but then I'd have to set minimum values and maximum values based on each specific color value so it doesn't become pure black or unreadable against the background. But I don't personally want to have to deal with that now. But just to show you're able to differentiate between the two different console screens. 
And while a little bit too simple for my liking, it simplifies it a lot, you can actually change the current channel that you're on by changing this specific constant value. So I'm going to change this to channel two. And now you'll see any message that I send on here will go through on channel one, not be received by anything on channel two, considering I did test two instead of just test. But any others will receive it just fine as long as they're on the right channel. And that concludes my current build. At the moment, I believe these are set up, so any receiving um, uh, radios will actually show the data being transferred. At the first one, it's the clock and address signal. The second indicator is the actual ASCII data. And the third is a spare one, which is connected to channel 3, which will be used for Morse code, which can just... E easily be connected up by just either having a button or another keyboard hooked up by memory. So, if I send the um, signal, you'll actually see the data ports receiving it. Of course, this is way too fast for any practical server application, but on a single player world or a peer-to-peer -peer connection, it should work just fine. Anyway, that concludes this. Hope you have a good one.